Hi everybody, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and also a new page, Charlie's Angel Crowd. That's where I'll be doing my workshops from and interactions. There's only room for 50 people, so if you would like to join with in with the interactions face-to-face, -face, literally, live, and workshops, then please go to Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook. This is an extra, because I'm just experimenting with new decks and also new things. You, if uh, you are a Cyber Angel, welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, liking and sharing and you will understand that I do uh, a little bit of uh, astrology and that it intrigues me and I know a little bit of it. I've done my research and this is about Virgo, sun, sh uh, sun sign Virgo and also moon sign Virgo. It's just a little bit of dis uh, dis uh, explanation on what a Virgo energy is and what the character is, who they are compatible with, etc, etc. I hope you find it fascinating. Let me know by your reactions and then I might continue to do so with the next sign. Now, it's been quite uh, an amazing month and year and I hope you have seen the updates of your yearlies. Do have a look because I did make in June seven month a forecast an update because of the COVID virus. And welcome to the people that have just landed on this page. I hope you're just as intrigued as I am with uh, the channel and the readings that this channel provides. Welcome, please like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all, then you'll be notified when I go live, which I do on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And of course, uh, I give away free cards and I answer questions that are supported by donations. Now I'm using the new deck that I have, the Pagan Waste Tarot, and it looks quite mystical and really it's a lovely deck. It is uh, c coming close to nature. The pagans are people that love nature and their environment and they use things out of the environment. So that's why I'm using it also because the backing has the moon to it and it just caught my eye and I thought I have to do this. And my um, queen of the moon oracle has um, all over energy. Okay, so let's have a look. The all over energy from the tarot is the Elder, and the Elder is the Hierophant. So it is an earth energy. He represents the Elder, the Hierophant represents Taurus, and unfortunately, you can't see it, I think, but there is a key in the book, and um, that speaks to me. You hold the key. To your decisions and you've got the owl here as well I'm sorry it's a bit funny color perhaps um, because I've got the sun blinds down it's 35 degrees here so I'm trying to make this extra reading because I do know it's summer holidays and you might like to listen to something unusual so use your wisdom uh, know that you have the key, the key also, usually there are two keys and that's the subconscious and the conscious. Perhaps you're walking around with ideas and you want to bring them into the consciousness, into the material world, your ideas. Now the Hierophant, the Elder, is somebody you go to when you need advice. This could be a father figure, as you can see it's a mature man and he has the knowledge, that's what the owl means. He is also a man of uh, the head of an institution or a municipality. People have a lot of respect for, for him and therefore uh, seek his advice. This could be, like I said, your father figure or a mature man that you respect or a professional, like a priest because he is the Hierophant, he is spiritual uh, of the spiritual church uh, or any any other spiritual means. Okay, 
This could be an elder in the clan or a Wiccan. This could also be a doctor. This could be a teacher. This could be um, the tax office, uh, somebody at the tax office. Anything to do with business or perhaps with love. Then it would be your spiritual guider, guidance, guider, guide, sorry. And the first card for the first week in Virgo, we have Strife. And it is the Five of Wands. A lot of people think stri uh, Five of Wands is Strife. In this deck, it does m m seem a little bit more anxious and uh, like somebody is people battling against them. But in. Um, um, Raya Waits deck, it was considered also as competition. So there might be small bits, issues, discussions, problems. You might have an issue and that's why you need advice so that you can avoid disagreements. But in the proper sense, in the good sense, it means competition. And because the word strife is there, I automatically get to hear wife. So you might have some <laughs> um, disagreements, small arguments or disagreements with your partner. Okay, that is Cockney. Strife is my wife, all right? Apples and pears is theirs. So this is how funny the um, psyche works. Okay, so there might be competition in the first week or there might be small arguments. Or disagreements. Don't worry, competition is good, it's healthy because it keeps us on our toes. In the second week we have the moon. Now in the second week listen to your intuition. Your intuition might be heightened because this is obviously from around the 21st but I've just done my research and the Virgo energy is starting to come in on the 19th. I hold on, I'll just check. It's slightly different this year as the moon of Virgo will come into Virgo on the 19th and Virgo is actually coming in on the 23rd of August, not the 21st, but usually you see in magazines and books, 21st we go into the cusp of Virgo, or the sign of Virgo. So you might be feeling very sensitive in the second week, and this could already be in the first week, as time is man-made. The 19th is the Wednesday, the 19th, and we are going into uh, Virgo on Friday. So it is two days before the 21st, but according to the uh, astrologers, Virgo is coming in on the 23rd. So that is from Wednesday to Sunday. We have a full, uh, full out or full, uh, fully full energy of Virgo so you could be very sensitive if you've got Virgo in your chart the first week of Virgo um, and so you might be more sensitive you might be getting more messages you might be uh, your intuition might be working overtime now the moon also means that you might m uh, meet a Pisces and Pisces is very uh, stabilizing for Virgo, so if you are a Virgo, um, Pisces will stabilize you. That is your opposite sign. And that is also a very spiritual sign. But remember, you are, are on the right track to your northern note, as the moon uh, also shines light on your path to the, your northern note. There are things you don't know about and that's why you most probably need more information and advice from an elder. Okay. Now, the moon doesn't only mean that you might be highly sensitive or emo extra emotional or more psychic, but it means that you are also 
going into a new phase and that's quite true because be the 21st the 23rd we're going into a new phase and you most probably extra sensitive as these trees represents the two pillars the angels have your back and are giving you all of you not just Virgo but all of you a new doorway a new beginning new energy okay with um, a, a new moon you can set the intentions for new things to happen and this is a time period according to the astrologers of six months because then the end of the cycle will be there so that is August, September, October, November, December, January January, February, that's the sixth month you should see the fruit of your labors okay so that will be the f um, full moon in January okay six months from August okay so remember set the intentions for your new beginning the new beginning could be between the 23rd of August to the 21st 23rd of January 2021 that is the energy in the second week and in the third week we have the nine of ones don't give up now that's what I'm hearing don't give up you've been so strong you have been resilient and it says resilience at the bottom of this card in this deck you've been strong you are wounded but you've got up again and dusted yourself off and carried on you're near the end what is six months if you've been going on for nine months or longer and you've come this far don't give up you're stronger than you think you will um, this will you might not feel like that at the moment but remember once this phase is finished you come out of it much stronger much wiser you are stronger than you think take a little rest okay take a little rest take this time to meditate contemplate and evaluate the next step so that you can sow the seeds on between the 19th and the 23rd of August for your new project but if you are a true um, uh, Queen of Pentacles and Empress then you most probably are, have, have made sure that you have sown more than one seeds perhaps eight seeds or nine seeds and you're waiting for the last one to come to fruition you might have had eight steps and you're waiting for this last step to come to fruition but usually like a farmer once they have sown the seeds for one crop it, um, ha they usually harvest this is the pagans way the wiccans way the astrologers anybody that works with the moon you sow the seeds with the new moon and you harvest at the full moon but sometimes it doesn't work like that because it takes three full moons uh, like if you sow in June or May it, you can harvest at the end of August and or in September because that's the harvest time in the Wiccan and the Pagans system then you have already sown seeds for the new harvest you have one and then you plant another one so that you continue to have harvest so your harvest is nearly here a nine means an ending and ready for a new beginning now I don't know what the cards are until I turn them over and in the fourth week you have the chariot so you most probably will be harvesting at the end of Virgo season but this could also because time is man made um, you could also harvest in seven weeks or at the end of September September is the ninth ninth month so remember this could also be at the end of September we've got seven here so that is luck victory you're a champion you're moving onwards and upwards uh, you might be moving home you might be going on holiday um, in the ninth month 
that could be also but you could be also moving to another job because you've got public recognition and perhaps recognition from a firm that wishes to employ you or become partners with you you do you have reached the ultimate goal fantastic congratulations and this is not only for Virgo but this is the energy in Virgo so after strife um, coming down and listening to your in Im, uh, your emotions your intuitions your thoughts you have planted the fruit and it is grown and you're tired of waiting but at the end of the month you will have gained success because you might have uh, gotten advice from an elder now the energy that I have here is the waxing crescent and that is acceptance acceptance you might in this picture I see um, the waxing moon and you might be forming partnerships sharing energy sharing ideas look at all the birds so the birds to me speak of air so that could mean for me also ideas exchanging ideas now the waxing crescent is the second crescent and acceptance acceptance of the current situation is the first step to change boom there you are in the third week like I said time is man-made so see what resonates with you the past does not exist the future hasn't happened there is only right now so accept what is take rest contemplate meditate and evaluate when we examine our lives and engage in some truth telling we are often confronted with what is what reality is this realization is power but often we reject this truth it is too hard to bear and we are afraid of accepting something so difficult each of us at some time has dodged our blind spots and then had illumination of actually is eventually confronted us yes it has confronted us that's why we are tired and worn down of fighting and fighting against the flow of the water what do we do next is crucial or do we accept exactly where we are no matter how painful and confronting or do we retreat back into our illusions and remain stuck or unchanging don't do that because there's something more beautiful coming listen to your intuition choosing uh, to accept ourselves fully and positioning positioning we are enable us to take the next step towards growth when we can plant our feet solidly into the earth and say yes here is exactly where I am and I accept this fully then we can take the next step confidently honestly powerfully towards where we now wish to head accepting where we are right now in its fullness allows us to also accept that there may be some chaos in our change before there is a full order again this can be an exciting feeling rather than one that generates fear if we hold on to new intentions clearly so there you go don't generate fear hold on to your new intentions but clearly don't make it misty make it clear okay I want this visualize it manifest it in meditation or contemplation and evaluation be clear as to what you wish and be careful what you wish it might we have the moon energy that was Pisces 
also the moon means you've got the dark side of the moon so that is where you need uh, the dark side of the moon you need to do more research with regards to something that's most probably why you need advice from somebody if you cannot find the re uh, the information yourself also it takes time to uh, things to grow that is this is pentacle energy you um, but although this is quite a fiery energy in Virgo okay you could be meeting also a cancer if you are forming partnerships something will become clear to you there will be news as we have the word acceptance except if somebody's reaching out to you or offering you something think about it um, ask advice if necessary or do the research so that you can remain the champion and remain to have victory victory is yours but make sure you um, act like the king of pentacles do the research before you invest okay and then you won't come back into this situation being stagnant and worried and stressed remember the beginning is here you're going forwards thank you take care and be blessed and stay safe and please share and like